How's it going, everybody? Welcome to Sick Eric Tech, and today we're going to be going on over my favorite smartphone of 2022. An obvious choice, but this is my choice, so uh, it may differ between everybody else as far as their opinion of the Galaxy S22 Ultra. This is definitely my most favorite phone of the year, hands down. I really do enjoy this phone. I've been using it since it came out and I couldn't be happier with it. Yes, a lot of other devices have come out. I haven't been able to get my hands on all these folds and things like that, Galaxy folds, just because they're too expensive. But as far as every device that I have used this year is the Galaxy S22 Ultra. Probably, hands down, my most favorite smartphone of the year. Uh, second, I would say, the OnePlus 10 Pro, uh, it's a fantastic phone, and the Pixel, hands down, I would probably say would be my second favorite, but I've only been using this phone for, what, two, three months that it's been out, so I don't think I could justify uh, that enough time to call this my most favorite phone of the year. The Galaxy S22 Ultra, I've been using ever since it came out, and I love this thing. It's fantastic, really, really great display. Um, you can't go wrong with this huge 6.8 inch display. This thing is fantastic. 120 hertz refresh rate. It is a quad HD display. Beautiful, bright, has a little bit of a curve on there. Not as much to where it will be annoying to some people. But this is a fantastic display with just a little hole punch cut out at the top, which isn't a big deal. This thing is phenomenal. The smoothness on here. The colors, you could do so many things to uh, tweak the display on your Galaxy S22 Ultra. You could change motion smoothness, screen mode, you go from vivid to natural to anything you want to do on here. You could change the resolution on here to uh, full HD plus if you want to save some battery. It's just a really, really nice display and Samsung never goes wrong with their displays. They always have really good panels on all of their devices to give us the best viewing experience on their smartphones. As far as everything else goes, performance on here has been pretty much stellar uh, with all these software updates that come out. This thing has gotten a lot of updates since it's been out. And Samsung's constantly trying to improve things on their smartphones. This thing got recently updated to official Android 13 One UI 5.0. And it's been fantastic. Even Android 12 has been really good on here and Samsung does their updates almost better than Google and way better than OnePlus when it comes down to their updates. They are on top of things when updating their devices. Literally an update every month, sometimes even twice a month, more than Google, and constantly improving their software on their smartphones. Samsung has become really good. Far from back in the days when uh, they were awful on updates with their smartphones, you wouldn't get an update for a couple months and they were so behind. But now Samsung is up there as far as the top leaders when it comes down to updating their smartphone. Performance on here, absolutely smooth, 120 hertz. This is the 12 gigabyte model. Really, really fast and snappy performance on here. No complaints with this device when it comes down to performance. It may heat up just a little bit, but that's really a minor gripe. This thing will still keep on trucking and uh it'll still get the job done plus you always have which for me you always have the s-pen on here to do a lot more productivity on the smartphone with this s-pen granted i don't use it a lot i always forget it's in here i would have preferred just a regular galaxy s22 ultra without the pin this is pretty much a updated note version but still if you need all of this productivity with the s-pen it's here you got it. If you ever want to do it, you know, use it, it's there. If you want to forget about it, whatever, it's tucked away. You hardly even know it's there. But if you need it, all you got to do is just pull it out and whip it out and use it. Pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty simple, pretty easy to use, and a lot of productivity with that S Pen. But as far as battery life goes on here, battery life has been really, really good. You can easily get a day's worth out of this device and then some and maybe charge it when you wake up the next day. It's definitely not a two-day phone for me and my usage at least, but that's okay. As long as it gets me through a day, I'm fine with that. Charging on here, uh, I believe it is uh, 
30 watt charging not the fastest in the world but still gets it done the only downside i would say about that is that you not get a charger in the box which a lot of smartphones are doing nowadays no charging brick in the box but still charging on here you get wireless charging you get reverse wireless charging to where you get charged uh, a pair of earbuds or your galaxy watch on the rear so that's really good you get a lot of options with charging on this device and it will charge up pretty quick and the battery life is pretty strong on here it will get you through your day no issues with battery life um when this phone came out it wasn't that great but with like i said all these updates improved so much on the smartphone to where it's nearly perfect right now it's one of my favorite smartphones of the year duh and uh yeah it's been fantastic on this device going on over to the cameras okay so cameras on this guy definitely the strong suit of this device i use this phone to record almost every single video on this channel and my other channel except for right now i'm using the lg v60 to record because dom can't use this phone but every single video i use the galaxy s22 ultra hands down top notch i trust this phone just as much as i trust my lg v60 when it comes down to video zooming capabilities on here with this camera unbelievable zoom on here you can go all the way up to 30 times to where it'll look really good 100 times eh, not so much but 30 times zoom on here fantastic if i'm going to a concert or some sort of event i'm taking this phone with me just because i could zoom in so much either with video with the just regular camera mode you could zoom all the way in to whatever you're watching if you're going to a concert show you could see literally everything on stage with this phone i've taken this to several concerts i've taken this to my daughter's graduation the zoom capability on here i trust more than any one of these smartphones even the google pixel 7 pro does not come close to the zoom quality on the galaxy s22 ultra i've tried it i've taken moon shots on both these devices the galaxy s22 ultra does better than the pixel 7 pro the oneplus 10 pro with this telephoto camera does not come even close to this periscopic camera on the galaxy s22 ultra pictures come out really nice looking on here video nice and crisp you could record all the way up to 8k video on here i believe it's 8k video let's see uh yeah 8k 24 frames per second you can record 4K on the front and on the rear-facing camera, which is fantastic. I love that. This camera is very versatile. You get regular photo, you get portrait video, portrait photos, nighttime pro video. You get a lot of different options, and you also get director's view and manual video mode. Pro mode, which means you could do everything manually on this phone and just control every single aspect on your phone using this it's almost as good as lg lg is one of the other person the other companies that do manual video modes where you can control everything except lg gives you a little bit more options but still samsung does a really good job with their pro video on here i i trust this phone with my life when it comes down to taking pictures taking video anything i do for my channels I use the Galaxy S22 Ultra. If I'm not using that, I'm using the LG V60. Hands down, top notch when it comes down to cameras and video on the Galaxy S22 Ultra. So as far as uh, build quality and how it's held up over this past year that this phone has pretty much been out, I love it. I baby my phones a lot. I may have a little bit of micro scratches on the display, but nothing serious. I have not dropped this phone uh, there's no scratches on it or anything. It has held up really, really well, especially with this finish on here. I love the matte finish. A lot of new phones like the Pixel 7 Pro come with a glossy finish. I do not like that. I like this matte frosted finish and this green. Come on, guys. This is one of the best colors Samsung has released on a smartphone is this green. It just It's a forest green. It just looks really nice and vibrant, shimmery with this color. It just looks phenomenal. I like the camera layout. It's simplistic. It's easy on the eyes. No huge camera bump on here. They're pretty minimal and I like how they're separated 
buttons are in the right area the power button is where you need it to be volume a little bit too high but the the uh, power button is where you need it to be the fingerprint sensor right smack dab where your thumb lays it's fast it's responsive the ultrasonic fingerprint sensor on here is one of the fastest on a smartphone you also get facial id which is pretty cool to unlock this device so no problems there with face id 12 gigabytes of ram 256 gigabytes of internal storage no micro sd card unfortunately the snapdragon 8 gen 1 on here has been a champ yes it does get a little warm but every phone nowadays does that the only phones that don't get warm are the older snapdragon generation phones like the 865 did not get warm all of these newer chipsets they do get warm so expect that on a lot of different smartphones with the snapdragon 8 gen 1 so really really good when it comes down to that stereo speakers on here phenomenal you do get dolby atmos to uh, tweak your audio you get auto movie music and voice i love listening to movie mode when i'm listening to audible it just sounds really really good it gives you that uh, echo and that surround sound feeling when you're listening to audio books on here it just sounds really good and uh, you get a lot of different options the speakers on here sound really good phenomenal speakers they get loud enough to where you could hear this outdoors no issues whatsoever the speaker quality on here has been fantastic so yeah the galaxy s22 ultra my favorite phone of the year uh, i know that's just my opinion so keep the hate comments to a minimum down below on saying oh it's not it's so typical well you know what this is my channel and this is my favorite phone of the year is the galaxy s22 ultra fantastic display fantastic cameras fantastic speakers fantastic build everything on this device i love is the galaxy s22 ultra definitely hands down my pick for the phone of the year thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you didn't give it a thumbs down that's quite all right subscribe like and share and i will see you guys next time peace